You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. We're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. Take it away, guys. This is called See Where You Stand. You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5. We're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. This is the deep dive show where you're going to get to know not only the local musicians and regional musicians and national bands that we have on this show, but you're also going to find out exactly what makes them tick and the music and all of the messages and the stories behind all of their music. At about uh, 2.30, we're going to dive into an interview with these guys, so stick around and uh, make sure you don't go anywhere before that. We also have a ticket giveaway to give away some tickets for a show tonight at Hooch and Hive. Uh, the headliner there is a band called Better Than This. Uh, give them a listen if you feel like it. But uh, don't let me get in your way, guys. Go ahead and dive into your next song. What's the next song called? All right, this one is Is That Even Possible? Thank you. 
You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5. We are live in studio with Chlorine Fields. This one is called Come On, Spell It Out. Listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. We are live in studio here with Chlorine Fields playing a nice, solid selection of all their music. Keep on going, you guys. Sound great. Thank you. Um, this one's called Finally.
You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. We also have a live stream going on right now on Facebook. Just search WMNF's Live Music Showcase to join in on the fun there on the uh, live stream. Right now we're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. Killing it right now. Really doing a a great job. You sound great, guys. Go ahead and keep on going. We're doing great. All right. Thank you for having us. Um, We're going to play If You Say So. Feeling underwater Do you know the feeling of no breath? Do you have a weird view too? Or do you have anything left? If you say Listening to Live Music Showcase here on WMNF. We're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. We're going to be uh, digging into exactly who they are and what makes them tick here in just a little bit. But right now, we're on to some more music. Take it away. This one is called French Horns. It's because you want to let the mess fix hands get going on all the surface Wave to your friends. 
can spin all the colors you want me to touch me Hands keep going on all the surfaces that seem so deep Touch as many as I can I got a feeling I'm ripped down on hot seat You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on 88.5 WMNF Tampa. I'm your host, Ken Apperson. We're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. You guys sound so cool. Thank you. I have thoughts. I'm going to share them after this next song. We also have some tickets to give away to the listeners out there who might be interested in going to the Hooch and Hive show tonight with uh, Better Than This. So stick around for that uh, giveaway. We're going to have people uh, call in and we'll give you some tickets. So stick around. Uh, Let's hear one more song and then I think we're going to dive into uh, exactly what makes all of you guys tick. I'm really looking forward to it. All right. This one's called Glow Fade.
You're listening to Live Music Showcase here on WMNF 88.5 Tampa. My name is Ken Apperson. I'm the host. We do this uh, show every Friday at 2 p.m. here in uh, Tampa Bay, Florida. Lovely, sunny, beautiful Tampa Bay, Florida. We're live in studio with Chlorine Fields. Um, I feel like I don't even need a tourniquet with you guys. I just just need a syringe and directly inject your music into my veins. <laughs> direct inject. And that'll, that'll be the rest of my day. And then I'll do that too often and I'll lose friends and family and eventually have to join a 12 step program because right. of your music being directly. It's, it's awesome. It's very That's cool. What we're going for. It's, it's where you're going for. Yeah, Perfect. Yeah. You've, <laughs> you've, you've nailed that target. Thank you. Exceptional. Uh, yeah. It's either going to be, it's either going to be 12 step programs or uh, a cult. Uh, nice. that you're going to find a cult nice. following it's going yeah. you're going to give it a whole new meaning for sure cool. really really cool stuff um i'm hearing like portis head a little bit i'm hearing like Maisie star just a tiny just a little like oh, yeah. little, little paprika bits. you know dollops here and there but more more than anything <clears throat> i'm i'm a music nerd if you guys don't know i'm a musician as well um and i'm seeing the p90s and i'm seeing the flat wound strings and i'm i'm there are elements to this that simultaneously feel cavalier uh they feel they feel almost reckless and there's other elements of this that are just so tight like you're you're changing tempos you're you're changing the entire vibe of some of your songs halfway through and it's nice it makes sense to the to what you're doing and that's not an easy thing from a songwriting perspective to do especially in a day and age where you know it's four chords and a and a 120 bpm and and that's a hit song these days you know but i think that and i think the, some of the listeners will agree with me there's there's a there's a yearning for this kind of music right now in if if for no other reason than it's different and it's satisfying and it's pleasing so uh to that effect well done um, but I'm curious about your songwriting process because it's clearly, there's definitely some intricacies there. And is this a group songwriting process? Do you guys sit down and you jam? Or is this a situation where one of you's got like all the parts figured out and you, you guys just get together and you rehearse it? A lot of the times, um, either I or Chris will come to the band with a song um, and then we just kind of, something just happens from there and anyone else can do has done that before too you know in the band yeah. and we just kind of take it and we we just play and what comes from it comes from it are you guys like democratic when it comes to the way that you write do you do you vote on things making band decisions and all of that yeah for yeah sure. yeah that's awesome yeah. that's awesome who in the band has the most bad ideas that get voted down Clayton, I'm Clayton. <laughs> totally Clayton, the drummer. It's because he's in another room right now. I Thank you, Clayton. Like, I feel like no one has really. I don't know any bad ideas. Nah. I don't, I've never. Yeah. I've never turned down an idea personally. No, we'll like try <laughs> the ideas and then like gently say like that wasn't it. Yeah. Because you know? and I ask that because uh, from song to song, one of the hardest things for a band to do is to create a cohesive sound without every single song just feeling like the same song over and over and over again. There's a fine line to walk there. Uh, it, so, like, I can hear your music, and it's simultaneously, like, it's obviously the same band every song, but it's like a playlist, and there's there's right, different yeah. themes going on there, but there's this singular, um, consistent underlying current that is, you know, obviously Chlorine Fields. Mm -hmm. And I bring that up because um, when we had Alt-J on the show earlier this, this year, one of the things they mentioned in the way that they write is they try to they try to think of it like um, almost like different chapters of the same book when they come up with a, with an album. Absolutely. Um, so that yeah. kind I like of thing. That. Yeah, it's kind of neat. Yeah. So you have that that continuous. It's almost like a narrative, but not quite a narrative because then we're talking about concept albums. <laughs> uh, which hey, that would be kind of cool to hear you guys do uh, tackle something like that. <laughs> so how long have you been a band? And uh, how long have it looks like? I'm not seeing anyone here that that hasn't already been playing for a while, it seems like. I'm seeing proper strumming techniques. I'm seeing the bass. He's got a nice, he's got, a, he's got the right posture over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, so I'll, I'll say that, how about this? But different question, a little bit more clear. Who's the, the least experienced per musician in the band? Just by and large, who's been playing the least amount of time? Ooh. Do we know? Definitely not. Me. We don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you're over there playing guitar and synth at almost the same time. Yeah. I figured you didn't pick them up from Guitar Center on the way over here. I mean, like I said earlier, I forgot what I said earlier, actually. 
<laughs> we don't know what we're doing. The chlorine has <laughs> kicked in. Yeah. 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 No, that's okay. That's okay. No, I feel like we don't have like this way of doing things though, and it just kind of like happens, like for sure. Yeah, like you I come up with something, and like we're just like. And just, I, think, uh, I think we're really lucky in the way that yeah. like we all like play off of feeling, yeah, you know, yeah, and like yeah, yeah. go off of feeling, mm-hmm. and like that will come up time and time again. Like, oh, it just doesn't feel good, or that feels good, you know, yeah. and that's kind of what like guides the direction sure okay so to that effect you start with some raw material and uh so where do you get that raw material from where's that come from where's that original piece come from that you bring to the band i mean a lot of the times me or chris will have a song sure but i mean like what inspires you oh oh just like yeah it's for me like when i'm writing it's like everything that i don't know how to like say in normal words so okay. that's where it comes from for me i don't know okay for anyone and else. for you chris um i just bring uh come bring your mic a little oh, closer yeah. to you if you wouldn't mind <laughs> please yeah thank you Close. there we go yeah um i just like the riff and then i just build off of that cool and i'm like hey crazy check this out and she's like does her magic and then nick is like oh Rips it apart and then makes it two, ten times cooler. Yeah. yeah. We need Nick. Yeah, Nick's yeah. vital. Yeah. Okay. So, Nick, you're kind of the, we'll call you the, um, n- not the composer, but the arranger. Arrangement. Yeah, I actually try you. Yeah. to, like, yeah. Yeah, he, that really is Like, true, make yeah. it more dynamic. Cause some <laughs> songs are very just, like, drawn out. Like, we have two songs that, actually, it's at the end there, but not my favorite They're songs coming up. They're very, perhaps. They're not Nick's know. favorite songs, <laughs> but stick around. <laughs> but I try to, I don't know, put in some ideas and input to make it more dynamic um, with, like, song-changing parts, like Glow Fade. That one's kind of, I feel like I put some yeah, yeah you, you yeah. like add flavor in there flavor to Little everything spice. yeah i like glow fade because it, it kind of like kicks in at the right, end yeah. there yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. unexpectedly and yeah. it's kind of mm-hmm. like yeah it kind of war- just warps and the yeah. end yeah, yeah kind of brings it together that's what's interesting to me about about music and like i hear this music and i close my eyes and i can hear it in like a movie or, or you know a tv show <laughs> a very serious movie or a very serious <laughs> tv show this is not the opening to a, you know a comedy central roast but that's okay but when when you're when you're writing as a group are you guys thinking about visual elements i know you have uh, a couple of music videos out on youtube now is that something that you guys consider when you're writing or is it like you write the song and then you consider everything else after that yeah the videos are just like completely improv really like, yeah we're just like oh ca- camera record like everything has a dreamy kind of yeah. vibe though like we're like i'm into like shoegaze and like jangly twee stuff I'm not sure if you're familiar sarah records which i think kind of sadness and just yeah yeah. Well, we're not writing about sunshine and daisies here. And I that's mean, okay. in a way, maybe. Uh, I mean, yeah, but. Yeah. <laughs> and that's okay. <laughs> we talk about, we have bands on that. We, um, we had Holly Glenn on the show last week, you know, for example. And they're a, a pop punk mm-hmm. emo band. And uh, yeah, there, there's no themes in there that are like, you know, walking on sunshine. No, yeah. And I feel like in 2022, I don't know, it's kind of hard to walk. It's that pretty way. hard to walk on sunshine. <laughs> yeah, it's it's more like walking in a volcano. Sometimes, which I think is reflected <laughs> in the music as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So okay, so lyric wise, uh, as far as Kersey, mm-hmm. to you, so you're writing the lyrics, I would imagine, mm-hmm. correct? Yes. Okay. So when it comes to those lyrics, what's your favorite or maybe most like emotional, like the one that the one lyric or the one portion of a song that means the most to you do you have one or are they all kind of just the same i mean i wouldn't be writing them if they weren't important to me of course um like and i know that sounds like an of course thing but like if i don't care about something i'm not i'm just not you know (laughs) invested so they all mean something to me and they all come from like um a deep space and they're like i was saying um the things that i can't really don't really know how to express other ways like, sure. they come out there. But so. like one one example would be what? Um, uh, we have a song um, called I Wish I Didn't Have Ears. And um, like sound is very, um, like I'm really sensitive to sound. And that's kind of where like that comes from. And it's about like just being an anxious person. And um, that song, like the words kind of like help me through that um, 
sound is loud, I hold my head. Like, that's one of my favorite lines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. How long have you been writing lyrics? A very, very long time. Yeah. Because um, my, my parents always, uh, my parents really encouraged uh, writing. My dad specifically really encouraged my writing. And my mother has been um, singing for a very long time as well. So with those things combined, I like as long as I can remember, I've been writing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as far as like going back to being a kid, like as a, again, like as a, as you call me kind of an amateur songwriter, uh, I remember being, you know, uh, nine years old and taking out a, a <laughs> piece of construction paper and trying to write some kind of a song or a melody, something like that. Mm -hmm. How old were you when you first started? Um, I have a horrible concept of time. Do you? Yeah, I really do. <laughs> You're not do. a temporal person? No. No? <laughs> I really do. But I'm being, like, honest when I say it's been a very, very long time. Like, I remember, like, being in elementary school. I had notebooks. I wrote all the time because, like I said, that was just, like, what I was shown as the way, you know, yeah. by my parents. So. Yeah. Well, th I mean, that's what we do, right? We, as children, we, we look at our parents and, and they give us guidance. And sometimes they give us, they give us guidance by teaching us the things we Don't shouldn't want. do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you know what I'm talking yeah. about yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> we can relate there. We yeah. can relate. I was an angsty, angry teenager at one point, for sure. I would, uh, you know, push my hair forward back when I had it. It was, uh, you know, hide inside. This is my room, guys. This is where I live. No. So as far as that goes, like, you know, we were talking about like, last week with Holly Glenn again. There is this resurgence of like '90s music, '90s grunge, '90s you know alt rock, um, and I hear elements of that style of music in you guys. I hear it in the in the pedal choices and the in the effects that are maybe influenced by that style. But the thing is, that's very it, there's a clear there's a very important distinction that needs to be made, which is that it's not a copycat. It's not mm -hmm. a we're just doing what has already been done. Mm -hmm. It's the same kind of thing that music often does. It's a, it's retroactive. You're creating something new based on something that maybe you grew up with, right? Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So as far as that goes, like your parents, what, what were they listening to when you were a kid? Um, my dad, when I was really young, gave me um, a couple of cassette tapes that yeah. I listened to on repeat, um, which would be Prince, um, nice. The Doors, and Talking Heads. And which, which. Uh, Doors album. He gave me Strange Days. Okay. Yeah. That's okay. a yeah. great like, best one. It's so that good. is the best one. <laughs> <It's so good. laughs> totally. Yeah. So, okay. I'm glad to hear that. Like, I, I hear uh, droning is the wrong word because it has a negative <clears throat> connotation to it, but you, you guys have that cool quality where you can, you can, you, you pick selections of your songs and theoretically, if you decided to, you could just extend those on mm -hmm. much longer than they already are. You don't have to, and you don't, obviously, for the sake of maybe your own sanity, or I don't know, but, but they don't feel repetitive. They don't feel like they're too long. Mm -hmm. They feel like a state of being. You know, that's what I mean when I say, you know, I could inject you guys because <laughs> if, I, if I just hear that on loop, I feel like the delta waves start kicking in. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to outside of being a band, what are you guys doing besides being musicians, besides you know, maybe you have jobs outside of this as well, what are you doing that you then bring back to rehearsal that you're then bringing back to the stage? Do you, do you have things like, what I mean by that is like throughout the day, are you, when you're not playing music, are you constantly thinking about music? Are you thinking yeah, about the band? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty that's, much. that's all. Yeah. That and art, just what we could yeah. do with the band, like visually. I mean, I, sure. I would hope to be more like, you know, you know, full visual over overload but yeah. yeah so i would like to bring art into it and stuff and yeah that's pretty much what i do yeah I mean, just music art and music yeah it i skateboard so. skateboard there you go yeah <laughs> everyone's a skateboarder yeah. oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay yeah. uh who's got the best trick who can do the coolest thing oh shit. Uh, i don't know man this guy is crazy <laughs> he's, he's crazy yeah, so see him on an Instagram reel or something. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Clayton's all right. We can't see him, but he's a, he's pretty good. Yeah. So as far okay, who can heel flip? Can anybody heel flip? I can't. Can't heel a heel flip. Okay. You can do a heel flip. <laughs> Bassist he's can good. heel flip. Drummer can heel flip. Okay. Well, then you guys are immediately uh, higher up on the spectrum of skateboarding than I am. That's for sure. <laughs> 
Uh, does anybody actually look cool when they're skateboarding in here, or is everybody? I'm gangly. I look like if someone stuck a scarecrow. Yeah, on I'm kind of weird looking. Honestly, yeah. Neff oh is stylish. I was gonna say, you, but hell. I appreciate it. They're all styly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, cool. <laughs> uh, who has had the worst injury on one of those skateboards? Not Who's me. gotten hurt yeah. the worst? Not me. Chris. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Sadly. What'd you do? <laughs> what were you trying to do, and then what actually happened? It's a whole story, but... Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> um, it consists of, like, 4 a.m. alcohol and yep. Central. That's pretty much Central it. Ave? Yeah, Central Ave. St. Pete. Yeah. Yep. yep. Okay. I'm not even sure what happened, honestly. It was a no-good <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can Long tell you... Long story short, yeah, just a little trick. Leg snapped. Had to get surgery. Oh, wow. You yeah, broke your leg. riding my bike home. Saw a friend skating. I was like, let me see that. And then, <laughs> oh, <laughs> just man. like that. So what are we talking about? Classic. Pins? Are we talking pins and, yeah. and plates? And well, we had a bar going up my leg. And bar going up the leg? From ankle to ankle. Yeah. Or like plate to plate. Plate to plate, yeah. Wow. Yeah. How long were you out? I mean, three months nice. easily. Yeah. yeah. Three months. Wow. Okay. So as far as the future of uh, chlorine fields here, what do you guys want to do? Do you guys have a clear vision for that, or is this I mean, more of a we'll see what happens kind of a thing? We'll think, see what happens. I think it's more of that, yeah. yeah. We're just like yeah. accepting shows that we think is like fun and mm -hmm. cool and like cool other bands and mm -hmm. you know, not trying to overwhelm ourselves, but. Sure, and you have one coming up on the 26th, right? 27th. 27th? Uh, yeah, Weave House. Weave Shout House. Out. Yeah. Okay. Shout out Weave. Where's that? Where's Weave House? Um, St. Pete. Pete. Yeah. Okay. N North Side. I usually know most of the places where music is happening around town. I've never heard of that place. Yeah, is that a newer used, place? It used to be called the Blue House. Oh, uh, okay. Weef is like there. Weef the people. Weef the people. Weef the people. <laughs> <laughs> of the United States of America. It's uh, the band Chances. You familiar? Chances. Yeah. yeah. Really, yeah. really cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shout out Chances. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll, I'll tell you this too, and then we're going to dive into uh, maybe another song here in just a moment. And we've got some tickets to give away, so uh, make sure you stick around if you're listening for that. Um, but I'm, I'm really curious uh, as far as... So I discovered you guys because a, a friend of mine, Sean Kyle... Uh, who runs the Floridian? I was asking him. I was like, "Hey, man, who do you like right now? Who do you who are you into right now?" And I thought for sure he was going to say some name that I'd already heard or some you know bigger band local around town. And uh, he was like, "No, Chlorine Fields. You need to look them up." And immediately, I was actually on a road trip driving home, and I put your guys' music on, and I had to. Don't take this as a as a compl as a a, a, a negative because it's not. Road trip is not the right uh, setting for you guys because I was like, this is going to put me in a place where I'm going to stop paying attention <laughs> to what I'm doing. <laughs> but it was so good. Uh, I'm Anyone who's tried to be on the show and isn't on the show uh, will tell you that I'm, I'm rather picky. Um, and I immediately I was like, yep, that works. That's good. So what's the next? I know I asked, like, what do you guys want to do? Specifically, you've got a show coming up. Do you, are you guys working on anything else coming up in the near future? Yeah, I mean, we got we played like four unreleased songs, yep. so that's gonna be recorded here soon, and probably do like another small album. Um, we got Bumblefest going on September third. Mm -hmm. I feel like we have a lot of stuff. I'm kind of overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Time to take a breather. Time to take a breather. I love this. Yeah. Well, after this next song, for the listeners out there, we're gonna be giving away a set of tickets for the Better Than This album of uh, the <laughs> better than this show tonight at hooch and hive so stick around but if you guys want to go ahead and hit that uh, one of those songs go for it thank you skull we're doing skull pull? Mm -hmm. okay all right uh we're gonna play skull pull
Listening to Live Music Showcase, we are here in studio with Chlorine Fields. We've got some tickets to give away to uh, the show that's happening tonight at Hooch and Hive. If you're interested in the band called Better Than This, very very cool band. Uh, I actually got to listen to a lot of their music throughout the week. That's going to be a really good show. Hooch and Hive is one of those places that, if you are a concert person, uh, not to plug them too much, but frankly, I, I love playing there. It's a good time, and uh, the, that show tonight is going to be a good time. So, if you're listening right now and you want tickets to that show, the first First two callers to call in right now will get tickets to that show tonight at Hooch and Hive, better than this. But we are here, 813-239-9663, and uh, feel free to give us a call, and you guys might just be the ones who get to take on those tickets. So Chlorine Fields, thank you so much for being our guests today. You thank guys, you. It, yeah, thanks for having thank us. You. Very, very cool. We had all kinds of fun things going on before the show. We got it all sorted out. We got it all <laughs> figured out. And uh, I, I love nothing more than than getting to work with a band that's just as cool off the mic as they are on the mic. So thank you for that. Uh, it always makes our jobs a little bit easier. <laughs> Once again, if you're uh, watching right now on the live stream, thanks so much. Make sure you uh, hit follow, and uh, make sure you can you, that way you can get rec- um, notifications every time we go live. Uh, looking forward to seeing more and more people in that live stream every week. We, uh, we Speaking of the live stream, this show is very unique in that, uh, you know, it's not just me and Mark in a, a little room with a couple of microphones. It's a very big room. It's a very big show with a lot of moving parts and a lot of very important people who volunteer their time just to make sure that it works every week. It's, it's, it's amazing, the, the crew that I get to work with on this show. Um, I'm in awe every week, honestly, just how 
great you guys are donating your time. Our sound mixer is Mark Perfetti, Mr. Sound Mixer Mark. Appreciate everything you do, man. Post-production is Richard Stone. Our audio assistant is Pam Robinson. Video director is Bob Hoke. Our camera operators are Marcy Connors and Maddie Stymack. Our social media is Bree Shoemaker. Our photographer is Jack Umbrella. And uh, you guys know me. I'm Ken Apperson. I'm here every week. Oh, and our board op is Micaiah Caldwell. Thank you so much for all that you do, Micaiah, making sure that uh, she's our last line of defense and making sure the, the show sounds good and things that shouldn't go out don't go out. So thank you for that. So um, before we go, I always like to give the bands a chance. This is kind of your opportunity to talk directly to your fans and the people that listen to your music. If, you had, if one of those fans was sitting right here that really loves your music, what would you want to say to them right now? Mm, I love you. Yeah. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Big hugs all around. Shout out Ugly Rugs, Motor Lobby, <laughs> Evan Tiemann, our manager. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah. So you guys have one more song. Can you tell me a little bit about that song before we go into it? What song is yeah, it? Yeah, what are we playing? I think we're doing um, Dot. We're doing Dot? Clayton, are you cool with Dot? Okay. There we go. We're doing dot. Yeah. This is dot. Shape your 